Hi guys, it's Lucy and today I'm going to be doing an Owl Crate unboxing. So this is October's Owl Crate. I pretty much feel like I know what's going to be in it. I haven't seen any spoilers or anything, but based on what they told us, I think I know the book and one of the items because they said that the book is based on Russian folklore and I kind of looked up new releases because as I said in my last unboxing, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one so I wanted to figure out what the book was before I paid money for it. Just so my predictions are out there, I think in this box the book is going to be Vasa in the Night and one of the items I think is going to be a scarf. And I just wanted to put my predictions out there because I don't know, I think it's fun to see if I'm right. I've basically given up on attempting to cut it on camera so I cut the tape and... Now it's open. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can't see it. Oh, here's the card with all the spoilers on it. The theme is Once Upon a Dream, which is this. I like the card, but it kind of looks really similar to last month's card. Okay, so I was wrong, and I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So what they told us is that we we're getting something that was gonna be good for the fall time, and I thought it was gonna be a scarf, and clearly I was wrong. So it's a hat. I think it's like Peter Pan based. It's from Who's It's and What's It's. It's a beanie, which, okay, so the issue that I have with this is that I don't really wear hats. I say as I'm wearing a hat, but this is like really loose and like actually fits over my hair and these tend to not, but this looks pretty big, so it might actually fit over my hair. I can't like, what am I gonna do, put it on? I don't know, but I don't know. Hopefully I can wear it. It's cute though. Oh, it's a charm bracelet from the DB Cauldron, which I've heard of this store before. And it says, oh, I think it's probably an Owl Crate exclusive. So not to be another negative Nancy, but I don't really wear bracelets. It says Once Upon a Dream and it has, what is this? Oh, it's from Sleeping Beauty. So this is cute and it's adjustable, but it's nice. And I might give this to my friend because she really likes bracelets like these. Next we have this notebook. It's clearly from The Wizard of Oz. But this is cute. I really appreciate notebooks because they're just nice to have. You never... Oh, there's a quote on the back. There's no place like home. Oh, and it has like a real passport. This is a really cute notebook. I like it. Here's the pin that they always put. And it's just like a subsection of what was on the card. So there's the card, there's the pin, my whole Owl Crate collection on my book bag. So yeah, it's kind of dirty, but hopefully you can see that. So this will just go right on my book bag. And then, oh, this is a bookmark, I think. So we got this that says My Heart, My Tribe. Um, I think this is also Peter Pan related because it's green. And I feel like that quote is from Peter Pan. I read Peter Pan and I've seen like both movies, but I don't really remember that much. About it. I think this is a bookmark. It looks like this. Pretty sure this is like a I really have no idea. I should just look at the card. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bookmark. And My Heart, My Tribe is like the name of the shop, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong about it being a Peter Pan quote then. As you know, I don't use bookmarks, but I really like having a collection of bookmarks, so I'm trying to use them more because now I have more. And I don't know, I just really like having the collection, so I'm really happy about this. Another bookmark that's from the New World series with New World Rising, I guess is the first book. The New World Ashes is the second book. Be Strong, Survive, Team Phoenix. I don't know what any of that means. Last but not least, we have the book, That's in the Night. I was correct by Sarah Porter. So I was right, this is a nice book. We got a letter from the author, which I will read at another point in time. A signed book plate. I wanna put it right here because there's a lot of blank space. Can you see it? Can you see it? I did it. So yeah. And then even though I knew that this was going to be the book, I didn't actually do any research on it. So I remember something that I read about this. This is based on kind of the Russian folktale of Baba Yaga. And there was like a children's book that was based on that that I used to love when I was a kid. And I don't remember any of it other than it was about an old woman who had gray hair and she was a witch, kind of. And yeah, and I decided not to read the inside cover because I'm lazy. So yeah. And I wasn't really that excited about it, but now I'm really excited about it because I just remember that factoid because one of the characters is named Bob's Yag, and that reminded me of someone speaking about this book and saying Baba Yaga. Oh, also, it came with this tattoo that says Boss in the Night. Okay, so next month's theme is Wonderland. Those are all the things that I got in my Owl Crate box. My room is a mess, as usual, after Owl Crate unboxing, especially after, like, that hat because all of these things were stuck to it. 
so they all fell on my floor thank you so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you like seeing me talking about books again thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye